come along with me to donate blood. Right when you walk into center, you get to see some pretty cool mascots and then some available snacks and drinks. That's Marty sitting at the counter. She helped me check in where I gave her my ID and then she scanned that QR code at the end. While I was waiting, I read some informational posters and some promotional posters. And when they're ready, they come and get you and you go back to screening. In the screening room, you'll discuss your answers to the quick pass and then answer any follow-up questions that may come up. And then also we do vitals and so we'll do blood pressure pulse temperature and an iron check so we do have to poke your finger just to be able to do that and then when you're all done they take you out to the donor floor this is my coworker jacob he's always wearing some pretty fun socks so we had to showcase those i got tipped back in the chair just a little bit to elevate my legs we do that just as a precaution because it helps regulate your body a little bit better. Right here, Jacob is just making a couple of marks on my vein so that he knows where he's going. And we can't touch the site after it's scrubbed. And we use a scrub called chlorhexidine and we do a 30 second scrub and a 30 second dry. After I got started, I requested an ice pack on the back of my neck. Again, just a precaution to help regulate my body. After I got started, they used the sample pouch to fill up the tubes that go to the lab. Every few seconds, I gave that squeezy toy a squeeze and I liked to wiggle my feet just to keep the blood flowing in my body. After about seven minutes, I was all finished. On average, it takes between like six and 10 minutes to give a pint of blood. Sometimes it takes a little bit longer, just kind of depending on the person. Jacob clamps the line and then finished up that process. And then after you're done, you get wrapped up and they give you aftercare instructions. And when you're all done, you head to the canteen and you get to pick out a cookie. These cookies are special to the Eugene Center because we get them from a local bakery called Cookies Cookies. And the frosted sugar is my favorite. After your donation, we do ask that you hang around for 10-15 minutes just until you're feeling 100%. So while I waited, I wrote this special appreciation for my coworkers. I ate my cookie and drank some water. Thanks for coming with me to donate blood today and we hope to see you there soon.